Radio. All right, we back at it. Homegrown Radio. Chuck Dizzle. DJ Head. West Coast. Hey, this week, uh, gotta let you know, Trap Boot Camp is where fitness meets the music festival. DJ yeah. Head, you know what I'm saying? This yep. is the ultimate team-based group X experience <laughs> of high intensity <laughs> You sound training, like you're selling me some shit. Along with dance and fluid movement to yeah. the beat of your favorite music. Yo, shout out to our go- girl Oracle. She puts on this uh, trap fitness thing. Um, and she's been, you know, expanding and doing the movement. So we appreciate that. You can check it out. Transformational, regenerational action, regeneration action program. All right. So uh, the homegrown Miss Bliss is going to be hosting out there as well. So Home you can grown. check out all the details, information at trapbootcamp.com. All right. And you can find out when trap... Uh, boot camp is going to be in your city so shout out to Oracle and the whole squad that be doing their thing well shout out to them fitness, man. Trap Fitness you know That's what I'm saying uh, it's going to be at Lamar Park by the way too man so shout out to the folks in LA local y'all can check that out uh, a lot of stuff going on this week bro man um, who are you for, telling first and foremost getting a lot of responses from people uh, that were interested in your, your story being sexually harassed man yeah I know um, shout out to the homie Zaire uh, Porterhouse LA for man. Time. he he he's he be listening to the podcast and he and what's interesting about people people that we know personally yeah who listens to the podcast they'll text me in real time oh yeah I why, too. why are they listening right like, yo. like man that's crazy I'm like yeah. It'd yeah, be random yeah. ass text. Yeah. Like, shout out to uh, Vita Plug too. Vita Plug hit me the other day. She was like, "Yo, man, getting some jewels, some gems, or just whatever, just listening." Um, and there was somebody on. Damn, I should have pulled up the YouTube comment. Somebody said, "I think it was Tiffany." Shout out to Tiffany on YouTube. She said she actually learns from Chuck Dizzle and DJ Head. I don't know what you're learning, but me I appreciate either. you listening. I appreciate. Uh, we appreciate the subscription. And all that, but I'm all still trying to figure shit. out what, what what you're learning. And then also, too, shout out to Earl Swavey. He checked in with Chuck Dizzle. Oh, my God, man. Let me just tell you. Earl Swavey, you know what I'm saying? We haven't released the video just yet because there's a lot of a lot of, a lot lot of of stuff in there that <laughs> I told him. I'm going to be a man of my word. I told him halfway through the interview, I said, look, bro, I'm not the type of dude that I'm not here for the clicks. Like, I'm not trying to just get the clicks. But he was saying some stuff in there. And I'm going to be straight up. There's some things that got to get edited out. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Some things that got to get edited out of that yeah. interview, man. So, you know, you guys will be seeing that, checking in with Chuck Dizzle. Shouts out to the homie C5. Shouts to Earl Swave. You got some more episodes on the way with that, man. And shout out to Earl Swave. He checked in with Chuck Dizzle. Yeah, yeah. Now, this is what I want to talk about because I posted this um, on my social media. Um, That's kind of vague. Which one? Yeah, I know. I know. On, on my, you sound like an old dude. On my social media. Well, because I don't remember on where I posted On my Snapchats. I don't remember where I posted On my Instagrams. Fuck you. With an M. M. My Instagrams. You one of them, huh? <laughs> go ahead. Yeah, I'm go. listening. I'm go right. ahead. Last one. Uh, go. Um, the, on my the, Twitters. All right, I'm done now. The lawyer. Was, I don't know how to pronounce his last oh, name. I don't know either. Aaron the, Schlossberg. The guy that Schlossberg. was in the in New restaurant. York. That was in the, yeah, he was in and the restaurant. They didn't want Mexicans speaking Spanish. Because that the makes workers. sense. Right. Yeah, he didn't want the workers. He didn't want the Spanish. Mexicans speaking Spanish. He didn't want the me- You know what's funny about that? <laughs> I'm going to take this. Well, I don't know real. if they was Mexican, but. Yeah, I'm sorry. My. Th- they were speaking Spanish. Right. The workers were speaking Spanish. The crazy part about that. Well, first of all, what are your thoughts about it? What do you think about the whole situation? Um. Well, first of all, I, I posted a video of him in a restaurant. Okay. And I was like, this is America. Right. And that's just been my thing. Because ever since the Child was Gambino video. It's perfect rhetoric. It's perfect rhetoric. Yeah. Like, this is America. So I just been, I just been on a tangent like, okay, this is America. Um, I fuck with Mexicans. Of course. I fuck with Spanish speaking people. We live in LA. So. We, I'm from LA. I yeah. was raised by in Linwood by a couple of Mexican people. And I'm used to hearing Spanish. Mm-hmm. But what's 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 crazy to me is that when I got to go on tour with Tech Nine and Glasses and everybody and I saw a lot of the country, a lot of people aren't used to people speaking Spanish. At all. And so that I can understand from that perspective. Right. But going on a rant and doing all of that shit, he was doing he was doing way too much. So I posted it and I wanted to, you know, oust him like, yo, make sure you look out for this motherfucker because he out here being racist. Yeah. And the, the, the crazy part about it is that he is somebody of position. He's a lawyer. So, you know, yeah. you don't know. You know, and I don't to know my knowledge, of, he works for a really good firm. What worked? Is he like a like? Do you know what kind of lawyer he is? No. Okay, so he could be responsible for putting people or keeping people in jail, or not having the compassion of getting people out of jail. So just people like, in. I, I really just. I really don't like people in power. Yeah. 
having those kind of ideologies. Like, yeah, that's it's scary. It's scary because it's like, what if somebody don't like black people, and you are in charge of, of you know people getting eligible for p- parole or probation or Duh. the Meek Mill situation? It happens. So and she was black too. Yeah, no, that's that that's, was even crazy. That's crazy. She's a house but nigga. Right. But, <laughs> but, <laughs> but no, but the, the whole point of this is that he put out, he released an apology on his Twitter. Oh, he had to. He was getting that fire. He was getting that heat. He and shout out to the uh, to the Latin community they that went up and set up the Banda and the Mariachi up. outside of his crib no, or his, his, uh, his job. No, they didn't. Yes, they did. You didn't see the video? Nah, they set, they set up a bond. Oh, that. they went and had a fiesta outside of his, his, hey, his anybody place. Anybody that knows. You know, I my I love y'all. My <laughs> Latino, I love y'all. But ain't nothing worse than hearing a party just started at like 12, uh, 12 30 a.m. Yeah. And you know that ain't nothing ending too anytime soon. So I know that to to get on Bro, his nerves. So it what made it so crazy was that I'm like, I'm watching the video and it was they was lit outside his his Word. I don't know if it was his job or his apartment, but they were out there turned the fuck up. They had to do they was dressed in the in the in the ceremonial garb. So they had the, hats they had the, and the, all the that ladies with the dresses, they had the the dudes, the full band. It was amazing. And that was like, yes, give him that energy. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And so shout out to them. Um but then he issued an apology. This is like a week later, I guess. He was getting he was getting heat. Cause when they out when they put his uh Shout out to um, Bruna, the problem with dating. Shout out to her. Okay. She post she posted his address and all that shit on my Instagram. No, she, she did. Yeah. She was like, his name is Aaron Schlossberg. Wow. This is his his uh, attorney practice. Here's his address. This and I'm like, whoa. Oh, so the way they really had a Latin party. They had a Latin party. <laughs> they were not playing. Dog. This is outside the office, and they so this is like see, a legit. Them. This is a legit party that they invited people to outside of his office. Outside of his office. Oh man, they, they got the babies out there. That look like Letty right there. <laughs> it's like Letty. Listen, not all Latin people look no, alike. That just looks like Letty. Shout out to Letty. So anyway, um Wow. I just wanted to salute them to my Latin community for doing that. I, li- I love that so kind of let, shit. Let Patty, Patty Party, as Charlemagne would say. And then also, um, I reposted his apology. Uh-huh. On on my Twitter because I'm like, bro, fuck all that. Yeah, nah, keep that same yeah. energy. Yeah. <laughs> that energy you had in that in that in that restaurant. You need that. I want energy you to have that same energy seven days later. I think I think Charlemagne said that. So I forgot who said it. They're like, I like my racist races. If you're gonna be racist, just be, be racist. racist all the way through in throughout. Be you with the I mean? bullshit. Be with the bullshit. Now, do you think is it possible mm-hmm. that he could have had a change of heart? Like, damn, was I really tripping? Right. Was I really like? Was I really tripping? Right. Because here, here's my here's my my take on it. I'm gonna tell you why I understand his his logic. Right. Mm-hmm. If you go into an establishment of any establishment, and you know the workers are speaking a different language, and they're helping you out, bro, then it's like, hey, okay, I've been in that situation where I don't get offended, but it's like. It can be extremely difficult to kind of figure out what's going on. If right. you're taking my order or not, or, or you're just assisting me in some, I would expect you to know some some kind of English just to assist me, right? Right. Um. So, but here's the thing, though. I just got. <laughs> all right. So, wife got a pedicure yesterday. Okay. I, I I attended as well. I got a pedicure as well. Okay. Stepped into there. Stepped in there. And all they were speaking was, what. Another language. <laughs> not gonna do that. Why you duck that question? Oh, I'm, I'm media trained like a mug. <laughs> what were they speaking? They were, Chuck? Not, they were not speaking English. What were they speaking? They were not speaking English. But what were they speaking? They were not speaking. What English. language were they speaking? I, don't I want know. you. I want you to generalize. I don't know. I don't know. They weren't speaking English. I want you to generalize. But were I they found speaking myself, Chinese? I don't know. Were they speaking Mandarin? I don't know. Tagalog? I don't know. Korean? I was in Carson, so it probably was Tagalog. Who knows? Who knows? I, don't I want know. you to. I want you to. Oh, I'm, general- not, I'm not gonna do that because I don't know. It was something <laughs> that I couldn't you understand. The fuck out of here. Yeah, it's something I couldn't understand. <laughs> but uh, but it was it, the, the employees were talking to one another while they were assisting us. Yeah. And I and I automatically thought, of, oh boy, I'm like, damn. Do people go into each of that? Now, I'm walking into it knowing what it is, but I'm not tripping because I just know what it is in that situation. Yeah. But I, I know that if I walk somewhere else, like going to a different establishment, I might have an it's like, yo, okay, can, if you're helping me out, can you obviously speak English? Mm-hmm. So I don't know. I just I, I feel like depending on where you go, 
your your sensitivity is heightened or lowered based off of where you're at. And what you've been exposed to. And what you've been exposed to. Because, I mean, if you was raised around people that spoke different languages, it's nothing new to you. Right. So, like I said, Spanish, I'm cool with that. Because yeah. even like, some, even uh, with Samoans, is it? Uh, it's a. Uh, uh, I uh, forgot the native language of Samoans, but. Damn, I, I don't want to say it's Samoan because I know God. better. But <laughs> generalize I'm just, it. Yeah, yeah, no, but because um, in Carson, it's a lot of uh, Polynesian. Absolutely. So shout out to my Poly people. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? West Coast. Just don't get Samoans and Tagalogs. Tug- uh, not Tagalogs. Wow. Tungans. Tungans. Yeah. Tungans, yeah, yeah no, I don't. Whoop, I know better. You know, yeah, I know what it is. That. You know what I'm saying? Um, I've been at Carson Park. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Watch it, bro. Uh, Watch so it. anyway. Um, if you were raised around that different cultures, speaking different music, even I mean not music, uh, different languages, I think you just get desensitized to it, just like crime right. or anything else that you get desensitized to. But then also musically, mm-hmm. when you hear when you hear infused when you hear the music being in, influenced by Cardi B, when she she you know she's uh, like Afro Latina, whatever yeah. you want to call it, she has the Latin vibe on that song. I like it, right? And then even Beyonce hopping on Mi Gente, yeah. Um, I think it's just Latin culture is prevalent. Of course. And I think I think the more we embrace it, the better. No, because that's, that's just just the same way that people would embrace or the Caribbean vibe, like right. when they when that was a thing. Right, right. Everybody was doing Caribbean shit. Right. Drake did controller, you know, Rihanna would work. Everybody's doing the Caribbean. So now I think Latin mm-hmm. is such a big thing. And then bring it full circle to the, for this dude to go hard like that on right. a, on Latin community is like well I mean the, the, he's tripping because for one this, this is America like we're a melting pot no matter how you feel whether everybody's you fucking a, foreigners yeah, and you you walk into an establishment it's whatever like yes English is the main language but everybody is you know they have their own thing so you should understand that this is what this country was built off of right, right? so you get used to it bro like, right that's just what it is and I think um, also to build on what you just said no like I was reading something I think after I posted on my Instagram it was like bro nobody's from America mm-hmm. Native Americans are from here right because they're native to America exactly <laughs> and we named it America right we don't know right. what the fuck it was called right. before we got before here yeah, yeah, yeah. you know what I'm saying <laughs> like white people just came was like you know what this our shit we're gonna just hear it plant, you know what i'm saying plant that flag right here this our shit this is what we doing it's crazy man this crip it's, it's like bro like what are you <laughs> white people just you know what i'm saying they, they just say, came to just hit a flag this crip yeah <laughs> we deem this our wow. shit you know what i'm saying the crips is here the pyrus is here this all our shit it's whatever it's whatever <laughs> <laughs> dog man i i don't know I, I i go back and forth with that but at the same time again this is america this is the you know the land of where where people come from different countries and set up their own shop and make things happen. So and shout out to um I want to shout out the Korean community and as well as the um uh the Korean community and then and then what the else? uh I don't want to fuck that yeah, up. Don't 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 mess that on up. No, I don't want to fuck the other community up. But they actually come out here and support each other. Like I, like you ever, like Korean town, Korea right. town, K town. Mm-hmm. We call it K town in L. A. But like there's this there's communities oh Armenia Armenia yeah. little Armenia and, uh, Ethiopia little Ethiopia. Ethiopia Ethiopia different communities they get out here and they really rally around each other yeah. and I think that black people should start doing that Mexicans started doing it but see with, with black people the thing is we don't have anywhere native like we don't have a native country. Mm. Like we, of course, we have Africa, right? We got the continent. Well, yeah, but we not. We don't. That, that, that's that's that's, that's where that disconnect is. Yeah. So Ethiopians, Ethiopians, Nigerians, people of African descent, they go hard in their communities for sure. Yeah. But people that that don't identify with a specific country, there we kind of lo- like. I'm gonna tell you what what our what our our, na- our we're native to just hip hop. That's our culture. Yeah, that's probably why people are so like passionate about the vet, it exactly because and that's it's why, like that's one of the only things that we have that's hence why oh girl that's why everybody's kind of up in arms with old girl jumping on stage oh, with kendrick. kendrick yeah kendrick he said hey, low-key dot you set her up bro i don't think he set her up he set her maybe uh, you set her up homie you know like come on you know like this song has the n-word and now granted she should have known right but you, not, I'm not saying that he intentionally set her up. That's not my words. Right. I mean, you knew what it what, what, what the potential of what was going to happen, right? Yeah, but but see, the thing is, like, yeah, yeah, that's true. Because he, you got to think about it. How many times has he performed and other anybody else performed? He knows what's going. And you see, oh damn, damn, he's the, that whole front row right there just said the N word. Are you going to stop your show? And, well, see, and, that, and, and I heard go? him talking about this shit on, um, I think it was on the Breakfast Club, yeah. where they was like, you know, he's done. <laughs> Thousands of shows, you would assume. Yeah. And this is the first time we ever see him stop the show. 
Yeah, you're right. When you're it right. comes to that. And so I don't want to like, say I like that statement though too. Him stopping the yeah, show. Yeah, I like that. I think I think I, I commend him on that for sure. <laughs> I don't think it would have been news had he not stopped the show. It would have been they would they would have shamed him for it. It would have been new, but I don't think anybody. It would have been. It, it would have been, been swept under the rug. It would have been just like, it would have been a one day story. Yeah, but the fact that he stopped and was like, yo, 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 and you fucked up. You yeah, you messed up. You know you fucked. You know, but see, you know you messed up. But right? see, the thing is, she when he called her out on it, mm. she she knew immediately. She knew immediately. You don't know me, bro. Like, bro, when she said that, that's how you knew. She knew she messed up. Yeah, she knew she fucked up. But then the, she, I'm not cool enough, bro. Like I was like, oh yeah, you you messed up at that point. Well, the thing is, when you try to overcompensate, to all she missed was my bad. All she missed was, dude, I have friends that are black. Like that's all she missed. Oh, that would have been terrible. My, I came with some black people. Oh, that would. <laughs> hey, whatever Tanika your name. Tanika said it was cool on the way. Tanika. Tanika. <laughs> Wrong, T- Tyrone, come here. Tanika <laughs> said it was cool. Nah, I'm so glad that she didn't do that. Yeah, because if she would have did that, that would have made it worse. <laughs> like whenever they, whenever you try to justify the bullshit you yeah. just said, <laughs> it'd be like, well, you know, I've I have three black friends. Right. Like, oh, that's exactly what it's you like. You fucked up. But I, um, honestly, the N word is a good topic. Um, in relative to hip hop. I want to talk about this because we just uh, me and Boo Lake Kev just had Skinny from the Nine in. The clip isn't out yet. Um, I'm probably gonna put it Who's out. That? Skinny from the Nine. He's a rapper. Okay, from where? Um, he's from all over. He's from New Jersey. Okay, so that okay. Um, but he you see he was in Florida in New Jersey. It's a long story. He got a crazy story. Okay. Amazing, amazing Is story. He white? He's white. Okay. Well, he's he's Mexican. So he's the N word, basically. He's Latin, yeah, but he uses it like it's nothing. Like Takashi. Like Takashi. Yeah. And so him being of Latin descent, I had to ask him. Right. We had him in during the interview, and he just was letting it fly, letting it fly. So then I stopped and was like, yo, I got to ask you this. What's your thoughts on the N word? Like, you feel like, and he was like, the N word is just the N word. Like, anybody can use it. And I was like, no, I just thought I had to call him out. I said, no, I don't feel like that. Now, I'm not one of them people who feel like the N word is like, oh my God, either. Like, right. I'm not a, like, I, I'm, I'm going to be honest. I'm completely desensitized to the right, N word. Right. So no different than seeing somebody get fired on. Right. No different than gunshots. Right, right. Like, I heard gunshots the other night and I was in there warming my food up. It's like, hey, whatever. It's like, it, but it's just the where, it's where background we, noise. it's where we come from. Right. I'm so desensitized to shit. Now, I'm not saying that that's right. Yeah. I'm just saying that that's reality. Mm-hmm. Now, when I was talking to him and I asked him about it, he was like, anybody can say it. He was like, like, yeah, it's just normal, like, where you come from or where I come from. And I'm like, look, be very careful on how you address this issue. And I had to stop him while we were on camera. Yeah. Be very careful, mindful of what you're about to say because it can get tricky. It can get very tricky. Especially you not being black. Right. Where I know how people of, from where I, from our community feel about that right. shit. I, me personally, I'm on record as saying I don't really care. It right. don't bother me. As long as it's not, you can say the word bro. And it'd be offensive. Gotcha. It's, to me, it's in, intent. It's intention. Right. Like if you say woman right. or female, you could be like, oh yeah, a beautiful woman. Right. Or it could be like woman. Right, 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 right. It's all to me, it's all intent. All right, so so you you get on air tonight, right? With Boo Leg Kev. Yeah. He's like, all right, my nigga here, what we got? No. Okay, so you said no. The reason what? why no, because he, that's not natural to him. Exactly. But like the, like Dre, Dre Sinatra, right. he says it. Right. But to me, Dre is not He's not saying it where he's like trying to be funny. He's not saying it literally is part of his language gotcha. because of where who he was around or how he grew up or whatever. Skinny from the nine. I looked at him as the same way. I don't think he's I he literally grew up with all black people mm. and it was normal to him. So I don't think you it's, it's OK to hold that against people. Right. Because if something is not, just like me and uh, domestic violence or um, cheating, if mm. that's something you grew up around and it's normal to you, cheating right. will be nothing to Got you. you. But see, I see. Here's one of my theories, too. I, I get that. You're right. The environment dictates how you're going to talk. It's just the language. I get it. But I feel like where we where at least where I cut the line or at least where I, I speak up more mm-hmm. is and I had to check one of my coworkers like years back. Um, and I, it's not that it's right or wrong, but this is my own personal feeling. I feel like if you're not of minority descent, mm-hmm. you're not a minority, just leave it alone. Okay, and that's what that's that's kind of the viewpoint that Skinny was was going with too. He was saying he was like, and I told him to be very careful because he was basically saying if you if you're privileged mm-hmm. and you didn't come up broke like I did, then you can't say it. Right. It's like, bro. 
poverty doesn't give you the right to say right. certain words. Right. Now, what I will say, like you said, it's an environmental thing. It's more like if everybody around you is saying, bro, you probably are going to start saying, bro. Right, 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 right. It's no different. What's now, funny that you now, if I... you, now, if you if you know better, like, mm. like if everybody around you saying, you know, f- fuck nigga or fat bitch. Right, right. You know better. So there is some personable accountability. Yeah. But what I'm saying is I'm not justifying other people saying the n-word what i'm saying is if it's if it comes off as harmless to me or a normal thing where i know or i can tell where i can tell it was part of your lang- linguistics on your upbringing but see that 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 right there it takes too much too much i know it depends on the it's person like it's a person by person like, yeah somebody walk by you know the person that walks by and skinny from the nines in here and says it I or you may not be offended by but it, but they might be. They might be and offended that's what, by it. But that's the world. That's the chance you take with what you say. Gotcha. So you're just saying, hey, be ready for that energy. Baby. Be ready for that energy. Now, does he understand that? He and I, that's what I tried to explain to him because I even was having. Um, I was in a group chat. I was telling. I was having. A, I was in a group chat arguing with a uh, with oh Schultz and yeah. Charlamagne about the whole the, that shit. Right. The Schultz use the N word. No. Okay. Shows doesn't use it. Bootleg Kev doesn't use it. Right. And I'm okay with that. Right. Because if they were to use it, it probably would make me feel weird mm-hmm. to get adjusted to it, being the fact that that wasn't part of our initial re- uh, interaction. Got you. But if you've seen it for the first time, Kev walked in, why the what's up? Like, like Fat it, Joe uses it. Right. But Fat Joe's up. But Fat, to me, it, it, it doesn't sound... Disingenuous from Fat Joe. It sounds like it's really. Oh, he was like. We hey. said we gotta we gotta find a different example because Fat Joe's not white. I agree with mm-hmm. you, but I don't know how I feel. I don't know, right? Because you don't have anybody that you. I don't. Dealt I don't with have anybody long. personally that I know that's right. white, like literally white, right. Right. that says it. But then again, I can't be discriminatory. Right. That's discrimination. Right. No, you're right. So that's no different than a cop pulling you over because you Asian or yeah. black. Yeah. That's discrimination. If you're going to say that anybody of this race can't do something because they're that race, that's discrimination. Mm. So you got to have that same energy on both ways. Right. And then what does it break down when somebody's mixed and yo, but you three fourths black or you half? That's black what I'm saying. So either we get it's like the guns because either we get rid of it. Technically, everybody got black in them. Technically, yeah. technically everybody got black in them. So I feel like this: either let the either open the floodgates or close them. Mm. It's black and white. Now, other than that, you'll be doing a case by case basis. And so, it's what tricky, I was saying man. in the group chat we was arguing about was Charlemagne said to me, like I told you before, head, you cannot tell people how to react, and I agree with that. Right. So, if Skinny from the Nine wants to say it, and Dre and Fat Joe, that's okay. But you got to be ready be for ready whatever for reaction comes with that. That's fair enough. That's fair enough. That's yeah. fair. Yeah. So, I mean, you you better just, just if you out there and you choose to use the N word, just understand if you're not black. Chances are you're going to get met with some resistance. And if you do, hey, just be ready for it and keep it pushing. West Coast. That's what it is. Um, Also, the other part about that is um, I don't want to say necessarily the N-word because it was like they were talking about how um, Skinny from the Nine was also talking about how he's not saying he like he was basically talking about how. I'm sorry. I got one more question. What about somebody that's black that uses it with ill intent? Like what? Just like, I can't give it. I'm going to just throw her name out there because the first person, I'm not saying that she's ever said this. Just throwing it out there because I know it's going to get a reaction. Let's say Azalea Banks, right? right. She comes out. Oh, you you niggers. Like, ah, nigga, nigga, however she wants to say it. Yeah. But she's black. So does she get the I pass? Think, I think any, it's with intent. <laughs> Like so it I doesn't said, matter what your race is. It don't matter what your race is. Gotcha. It's it's the intent. It's the energy behind it. Yeah, because there's some black people. I, I was like, ooh, it still it it, it ru- like it rubs me the wrong way. Depending, like you said, I think that's off of their intent on how they. You say know, it. you know what that is? That's intuitive. That mm-hmm. that's human nature. That's your intuition talking to you. Like whenever you feel a certain kind of vibe or mm-hmm. a certain kind of way about something, that's not coming from nowhere. Right. That's literally whatever the energy that that person is putting out. So if you get if you get a vibe from somebody and you like, oh, that didn't sound right. That didn't sound natural. That don't feel right. That don't feel natural. There's a reason behind that. You got to pay attention to that shit. And so the N word, somebody saying, uh, somebody calling us like uh, those boys. Mm. It just now, depends on who what says it, it. Now, now, if if Bullet Kevin here, like, oh, the boys. Mm. Right mm. or oh, look at those boys. Mm. He'd be in the glass right there. Oh, the boys were in, the boys are in there. Right, right. Or a eighty three year old white man. <laughs> look at them. Look at them boys. Look at them boys look in them there. Boys. Look at them boys in there. You got you them gonna, boys in there. You gonna take it different, right? Right. Because you feel whatever you feel, and you're also being stere- or uh, biased right. because based you, off of who it is and they react like exactly. Yeah, so I'm I'm like this, and I agree with what Charlotte was saying. 
you could do and say whatever you want to do and right. say. It's free country in theory. Mm. Be ready for whatever reaction come with it. It's fair enough. I'll give you that. And, so, and, and I, I love when people chime in on this topic because it kind of gives you the perspective of what other people think and, and how they justify their way of thinking as well. So good, bad, or whatever. So I uh, always welcome that that uh, conversation. Um, now, something that took over like this last week, everybody was, was – I'm going to tell you how I was introduced to it. I mm-hmm. wake up 3 in the morning, got to go to work, and – See, Man, I see. Ty, yeah, that's new. Yeah, this new. Yeah, yeah. To take over your shit. So <laughs> yes, yeah. Bitch so, ass me. <laughs> yeah. You know what I'm saying? He's fully, he's fully acclimated to his schedule now. You can tell. So my thing, I, I, I wake up and I just see, you know, somebody's on the phone. Tasha's in the bed. She's on the phone. I'm like, the hell, she doing? She's got the royal wedding on. Are you serious? I don't. I've never heard Tosh, my wife, talk about she anything old, dog. about she getting old. royalty, princes, princesses. You know what it Diane, is, Diane. None of that. You know what it is. It's because I call it Rachel Zane because I watched that show. Who? So, what? The, the 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 woman Rachel. I mean, what's her name? The, the princess. Megan. Megan. So yeah, now I know. Yeah. Okay, Megan. Megan. Megan, Megan's reign. Megan, Megan was my one of my favorite characters on a TV show called Suits. Okay, that I watched on the USA Network. Mm-hmm. She was her name on that TV show was Rachel Zane. That's how I know her. It's, it's like it's like fucking any any big star. You know him for whatever their role was, mm-hmm. right? So I'm watching this and I'm looking at it and I'm like, so I'm, you're up watching it? No, no, no. I'm oh, okay. looking at the thing on my feed. Okay, and I see the picture of her. I'm like, and she kind of cute though. Yeah. And Silas told me, he was like, you know that's that's old girl from Suits? I'm like, ah, bruh. Wait, wait, time out, time out. This is really her? Like her character? Or is her, is her like a character? No. Or that's really her? She's an actress. Oh, I had no idea. She's a fucking actress. I had no so, idea. So going to what you said about your wife, the reason why I think that this got so much pub is because it's literally the Disney princess shit. It's literally wow. like it can happen to you. Really? She was an actress, and she's—I mean, she she has other shit. She's a philanthropist, right, right, right. I know, and an activist. I remember, mom was a social worker and stuff like that. But I she's know. Li- she's really half black. No, I, I know that. I know little stuff about it, but I guess I was just thrown off because I've never. She's heard. an actress, and she don't. My have wife ne- don't watch suits. She don't have nothing to do with royalty. Okay. Wow. So I think my my personal thought process on it, going to what your wife and all these other hype beasts on the internet was talking about, it's literally it can happen to you syndrome. Right. So everybody was tapped in based off of that. Everybody's tapped in. Not only just because she's half black, mm-hmm. but then also she doesn't have anything to do with royalty. Like she literally comes from but like, you know her what? dad I mean, her dad is like out of her life or some shit. He don't fuck with her. I just remember I remember like I know how big of a deal. I, I think that that probably taps into it too. Uh, but I, I know a lot of it has to do with just that whole um, fantasy is not the word, but um, that that whole uh, just the attention for for the royal family and things like I remember when Princess Diana died. Mm-hmm. Right. And how big of a deal that was, mm-hmm. obviously, because she died. But I remember like how they followed her family after that. I didn't know nothing about her until after she had passed. And then just the, her, them highlighting her story or whatever. There's a fascination that's what i'm trying to say it's a fascination with the royal family and how you know the queen elizabeth and prince charles and all that and i, I guess i was just thrown off that tosh was tapped into it. yeah it there was, was nothing leading up to it like oh you know the royal weddings next week like not, none of that it was just like hey oh shit yeah, i'm all, watching it it's all hype beast crazy I, I, I personally and i posted how i felt so everybody who followed me know what it is at dj H-E-D. but i don't give a fuck about none of that shit that shit doesn't apply to me. I just don't care. Um, the chick that I found was the best chick on Suits is getting married off to a prince. That's crazy. That's how you. That's how. That's, that's how, how I looked at it in your head. That, in my mind, I'm like, well, Rachel from Suits. That's how I'm looking got at married. it. Got I married. I didn't know she was an actress. Yeah, she's an actress. She got other titles, but, but there's a lot of people that feel feel a certain way because you know she she married. You know she married up. They're like, oh, but so did Mariah Carey. That's what I'm saying. Like, there's the people feel a way about. Her marrying into the family. Oh, the royal family. Yeah, it's like, oh, oh, she wasn't doing nothing before, or yeah, she was doing this, but that's just girls being envious and jealous. Listen, if that do, if that prince, he could walk through this building and have his pick. That's true. Just married, not married. Here's what I'm I'm confused. Do you do you know anything about that whole breakdown of what 
like the whole royal family and all that. I know Queen Elizabeth, she's the she's the head, huh? She's the motherfucker. Right? Right. So if Queen Elizabeth were to pass, right? Because they don't have any they don't have a king. Right. If Queen Elizabeth were to pass, is Prince Charles gonna be King Charles? I, I don't you know. Don't know about, I, don't I, don't know I don't I'm trying to figure I, out the I right play end. chess. I just know some <laughs> pawn, some the, pawns, a queen, a rook. So no, a, here's a here's, bishop. here's what where it's like <laughs> confusing because I I was thinking like, okay, so Harry, who married Megan, mm-hmm. she's now a princess? In theory, yeah. Or is she because I've heard the word Duchess. I don't I don't know that the term. I don't know what the fuck so, the difference is. Because there was another up uh, the the older brother married as well he got married like a couple years back because there was a big spectacle about them as well about their wedding and all that so mm. he she's married so there's another princess out there obviously the attention was a little different but because she wasn't half black but there was attention on there nonetheless i guess my point is who's gonna be set up to be queen if queen elizabeth die i don't know i don't know don't know Dutch. You don't you apply don't to me. You just say you don't. Give I, mean, a fuck. I don't care because you just. You that shit is intriguing. You, me. Mentioned, you mentioned the word death. Yeah. So I'm not gonna be like, oh, head don't right, give right, a fuck. Right, right. Nah, but, but I mean, she's yeah. Um, she's up there. But yeah, she she definitely hit a lick. You know what I'm saying? I don't, I don't want to say like that. She definitely. You just just said that. Like you just said. Yeah, it like but that. I don't mean that in that way because I know people so like. So what's the, her character like on on suits? Um. <laughs> She, she was must be like a gold digger or something. Dude. Nah, she wouldn't. No, oh, that'd, okay. be crazy. that'd be crazy. But I said, they, oh, would, oh, they would use that against her. Right, right. Um, but no, she was a real good girl. She was a real wholesome girl on the TV show. She um, she married oh boy that was the main character. His name was Michael Ross. But anyway, yes, yeah, that was just my thoughts that. on on that. Um, I didn't give a fuck about the royal wedding. I just don't care about anything. The fashion, the what she was wearing, the food that they were serving. Don't care. They some whatever the song was that they were that they got married to whatever the song was that was a part of the wedding is like on the top of the charts right now or some shit. Well, yeah, obviously because of the tension. One thing that I that did like just by seeing the clips, I don't know why I'm fascinated. Or I like seeing how uh, other cultures re- react to like black culture when it comes to church. So they mm-hmm. had a black pastor yeah. that was preaching as well. And I think they they were singing. Um, I forgot what song they were singing. Uh, one of those, yeah, you know, it was one of those. Uh, I don't know. It's not. I was gonna say fucking Negro spiritual, but it wasn't a Negro spiritual. Are but you anyway, are you talking shit about the Baptist church? No, 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 church no, no, no. I'm not. I'm not. I'm oh, not. okay. I just want to clear it up. I just love to see the reaction of the clear people. Shit up. I love to see the pe- the reaction of the people because they just you can tell they were just like, what the fuck is going on right now? What the fuck is going on right now? Why what? is he yelling? Oh, the pastor! Yeah, oh, the because Catholic they're not church. used to that. Yeah, they used Catholic, to. I went to a Catholic, Catholic church yeah. one time. So it's like if you know and anything about Catholic like, church and a Baptist church, or, yeah, I went to or, a, or anything of the AME, what it's completely different. Yeah, I went. I went to one one time um, to get in, get in on the Catholicism a little bit, and it was so quiet and turned down. It's and, almost and the thing scary. Is, now I'm gonna tell you. I'm gonna tell you some fucked up shit. I'll go to church in a black church. And right. it's turnt. Of it's course. people hollering, yeah. dancing, <laughs> screaming, tambourines, yeah, all that. drums, yeah. all that. I go to sleep in there. Can you imagine me sitting in a in a Catholic uh, church and it's you could hear a church? That's where the church mouth should come right, from. Right, right, right. You could hear just you could hear everything. It's, like it's, it's so cool. All right, I want everyone oh, yeah, to take oh, out their hymn yeah, book. Oh, yeah, oh, take out your hymn book and oh, hymn book. I said, yeah. and I literally, <laughs> I didn't know what the fuck a hymn book was for real. Why would I know? You know what I know? Because I'm, I'm, all right. So a little fun fact about me. My, I'm Lutheran. I was baptized Lutheran. Lutheran broke off from Catholicism. So they they weren't with the fuck shit with, with Catholicism. They broke off and say, look, we ain't doing all that. We're not praying to Mary. We're not doing that. Praying, uh, idolizing Mary. However they want to look at it. And Martin Luther came, you know, went off and did his own thing. So a lot of the same traditions that the Lutherans have, they were based off of Catholicism. So I knew what a hymn book was growing up. <laughs> And a lot of people didn't. I, I didn't realize that people didn't know that. Bro, I'm sitting there. That's they funny. was like, "Take out the hymn book." I was like, "I don't got you mean, one." You mean the other Bible? <laughs> yeah, I'm like, and, and, why does Bible got lyrics? Hold on, <laughs> hold on. Let me tell you some real shit though. I'm literally sitting in church. This is a long time ago. This is like easily ten years ago. I'm sitting in there, and I, why the fuck would I know that? Like, right. my mom never took me to Catholic church. So we sitting in there, and I'm just like, why is a hell of Bibles all over the place? <laughs> 
Like, hey, automatically you looking at Bible got lyrics. It's a hell of Bibles in here yeah. with, with 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 lyrics yeah, in it. You know what I'm saying? Shout the genius. Show you stupid. Print up their own Bibles. You a fool. Um, I, I feel like this this story never goes away. With, and I can. I hope this is the last time we talk about this dude, R. Kelly, sued for sexual assault again, and infecting a victim, uh, a victim with herpes. Yeah. Well, see, the thing is, nobody's been able to prove that he has anything. You know what's crazy too? And he got all these women allegedly with him. Like we were talking about that last time. He's still. Nah, I'm, nah, I ain't gonna say that. Leave it alone. I ain't gonna what, say. I'm gonna say what's interesting. I'm, I'm gonna say. <laughs> let me let me throw you a lifeline. Hold on, let me save you real quick. Here's here's the interesting part about this as well. All this is going on. Everybody's talking about pulling this, pulling um, his uh, his songs off of certain playlists. platforms and playlists. He's managed to have his numbers raised after all this. Yeah. Now, do you think bringing attention to it is forcing people to listen to the music more? It's just more awareness. But we're talking about it. That that doesn't that doesn't drive me to say, man, y'all go here. Step in the name of love. Hey, but you also see other shit happen on the internet that you, it don't cause a reaction like that, but it does in other people. Yeah, it's just you're different. Different people. It's different people. Like, like some I just pe- wonder who lists, who sees a story saying, "Oh man, R. Kelly sued for sexual assault and affecting victims with herpes." You go listen to uh, TP two. <laughs> <laughs> I don't. I just don't do. I don't. I don't see that. I don't understand. Let me go play Step in the Name of Love. After you know, step, hearing hearing step, hearing them side to side, keeping some uh, chick in the basement. Yeah, no, I don't, I don't, I don't necessarily want to go listen to R. Kelly. Mm-hmm. Um, I don't, I don't have a desire. I haven't, I didn't have a desire before all this shit to listen to R. Kelly though. Right. Like after a certain after a certain era, I was done with him anyway. That's crazy. Dude. That's just me personally. Just, just because you just wasn't messing with the music, or because based off the well, stuff it, that was to me, I look at I look at R. Kelly more like musically. Everything else aside, musically, I look at him like yes, he was a a, a pioneer and a genius of his whatever it was at the time. Right. Same thing for goes for a Snoop Dogg or Kanye or Doctor. Do you want to hear? The, right. Do you want to hear the new Doctor Dre album? I'm not. I'm indifferent. Me, actually, no. I'm lying. I do. I'm ready. I want to hear Dr. Dre. I'm not excited about it. Okay. Well, I just think that I'm. I'm excited to hear a Dre album or hear some production around him or whatever the case may be. I'm. I'm just. I don't give a fuck. Either me personally. Way. So, um, are you yeah. excited? Are you excited about Meek Mill and Drake possibly getting together, and been on a song? Don't care. Don't care. I think it'd be dope for hip hop. Aaron Drake. Don't give a fuck. Damn. I think I'm, it'd be dope for hip hop. I'm just saying, but me you as a, personally as a fan, me don't personally care. as a fan, I don't care who Meek does music with. I, I fuck with Meek. Right, right. I don't right. care who Drake does music with. I fuck with Drake. Got so you. them doing a song together is it cool. Like, it's easy. I'm good with it either way. I, I guess I, hearing the headlines and seeing it, I think I'm more interested because of the song they choose to do it with. That I think, I think be it's doing a dope moment. The West Beef, the the Biggie, they're gonna redo that. I think it'll be a dope moment mm-hmm. for hip hop. <laughs> I don't personally give you a don't fuck, care. right, right, right. Because I fuck with Meek and I fuck with Drake equally, or both, like as a fan. So it don't matter who they collab with. To be so honest at with this you. point, I'll be more shocked to see a. Right now, as a fan, I'll be I'll be more geek to hear a Jay Z and Kanye collab because everything's been going. Because I know, like Drake and Drake and and Drake and Meek, that's some rap shit, right, right, right. Which could could have been some other shit. Mm-hmm. Jay and Ye. That's, that's some right. real other. That's right, some right, whole right. other shit. So I would really want to hear Jay Z and Kanye. Yeah, on would a, you want? Would you want there to be any political aspect to it, like the climate of what's going on, or just them spazzing on the record? I would just want to see them collab. Like I don't care what you don't it care is. what the content of what was going. Nah, on. I'm just a fan of of who I'm a fan of and whatever the story that goes along with it. Got you. So it, that's just me personally. Like I would like to see even um, Kendrick and Cole. Mm. I'll be more of a, that. I don't, I don't, that's not gonna happen. I'll be so. more of a fan of that because right. it's like an anticipation thing, and I'm a, and I'm really a big fan. Like Drake and Meek, I'm a fan of, but I'm not a super fan of. Got you. All right. Well, look, we, we'll see what happens. We'll, we'll keep people posted. We're gonna have to wrap things up in a second, man. It's Homegrown Radio. Make sure you subscribe. Appreciate everybody that's been on YouTube, SoundCloud, uh, iHeartRadio app. Keep on tapping in. Whether you learn something from us or not, we appreciate the love either way. West Coast. Chuck Dizzle, DJ Head. We about.